Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the fourth day of May 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying, Amen, I believe as I receive. Today, I want to pray for you that the Lord God Almighty will deliver you from enemies like friends. There are a good number of people hearing me this morning. There are people that surround your life that are parading themselves as your friends, but actually they are enemies. I want to pray for you this morning that the Lord God Almighty will expose who they have to you and God will deliver you from all their schemings in Jesus' name. David said in the book of Psalm, talking about Ahithophel, he says, It wasn't an enemy that did this to me, but you, my brother, my companion, we go to the house of the Lord together. There are enemies who are disguising as friends. If you play into their hands, it can be very dangerous. But I want to pray for you today that all enemies like friends in your company, in your environment, among the people that you are dealing with, God Almighty will expose them, will reveal who they are, and God will deliver you from, their, from all their plans and strategies in Jesus' name. Somebody is hearing me this morning. In fact, you are just a Reverend Ola. How I wish you have prayed this prayer before now. That is what is happening in your life at the moment. But I'm praying for you. It is not too late. The Almighty God, who have the grace and the, and the power to correct errors and mistakes, I pray that the Lord will bring back and deliver you from all their evil agendas in Jesus' name. Everyone, as we go out today, I pray that the Lord will go ahead of you. The Almighty God will bless you and prosper you today. The King of glory will save you and deliver you from all the attacks from the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Everyone that is sick this morning, I pray that the Lord will heal you and deliver you from pains, and from sicknesses in jesus name everyone i want to pray for somebody who is in their need of financial assistance today i know many people say oh i connect to this everyone who is in their need of finish financial breakthrough i pray that god will send you help this morning you will share your testimony before the end of today miracle will locate you today in Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Father, we thank you. Today, we want to continue in our Bible readings. Today being Thursday, we are reading the book of Romans chapter 11 and chapter 12. Yesterday, we read chapters 9 and 10 of the book of Romans. But today, we are reading chapter 11 and chapter number 12 of the book of Romans. The Lord bless us as we read along. Let me take maybe just two or three testimonies to glorify the name of the Lord. Please, whenever you are sending your testimonies to us, please make it brief, short, and go straight to the point. The Lord bless you. This one say, good morning, Daddy and Yola. I want to return all the glory to God Almighty for what he has done for me. Indeed, first fruit pays. I paid my first fruit offering February with the last money I got from the goods I sold for somebody, and I, all the money was what I used for my first fruit. Why, I had nothing to eat at home, and I needed money to take care of so many things in the house too. But I give all the glory. That is to my greatest surprise since then. It is open doors of financial connection for me. Now I can give more. I can give people money. I can help people financially. I can give give to people. Now money is meeting money in my empty bank account. When what used to be my empty bank account, thanking you, Daddy, for what for what God has used you to do in my life. More grace and more blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. All the way from Lagos to God be the glory for the confirmation of His words. Another one is here. Good morning, Reverend. God bless you and your family and continue to keep you for us in Jesus' name. 
I am that woman that tested you concerning my son's case, and you said all will be well. And truly, on the 6th of March, you mentioned my case that there was a woman hearing me now that God is taking your son to a factory for recreation and to rebrand him back. So I claim it, and by then he was already taken to Grace Hill Psychiatric Hospital, which is spent a month and two weeks. He was discharged last Saturday. He is saved now, sound, and recovered his senses back. Praise God. Thank you so much, Daddy, for your encouragement. God bless you. Wow. To God be the glory. Thank God for restoring his sanity. Another one. Good morning, Reverend. I am so blessed by the message of yesterday and today. I'm a serious victim of fighting battles alone. The last one is about to, was about to consume my marriage of 26 years. But I thank God that as you pray along with us, and I say thank you for allowing God to use you. I'm so, so person from Abuja. To God be the glory. Let me take this last one. Good morning, Daddy. This is to testify to the faithfulness of God in honoring the words of his servant. You encourage us to always give something to someone on the first day of the month. Daddy, it works wonders. On the first day of April 2023, I gave just 200 naira to a small boy that, that was that very day, and someone gave me a beautiful shoe worth more than 20,000. And that same day, another person gave me cash of 5,000 naira. Praise the Lord. Man of God, more grace and fresh, fresh unction to function in Jesus' name. Amen. To God be the glory. We appreciate God as we continue to look at the world. Don't create that mess. A lot of people are getting more blessed every day. Some people who when some people who did not have the opportunity or the privilege of, of hearing me the first time I preached this message, but are now hearing this expanded version, the elaborate one, because I am picking it, you know, one point on the other from the book. Uh, for the past two days, we began to look at the, the, you know, began to highlight certain things that we need to take it in the area of our head, that you should not, uh, you shouldn't create mess for yourself in the area of your head and not be thinking that God will clean you up. I told us, I said, you need to have important things to note. Number one, you exercise regularly. Then number two, you heal healthily. Number three, today, set aside time to rest. Don't walk, 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 and there's no time for relaxation. You must always have time to rest in your head. Don't create enemy. I mean, don't create mess. Take time off to rest and get refreshed when it is time to do so. And I pray that the Lord will help. Let me read from the book. I said some time ago, we had a seven-day anniversary program in our church. And immediately after the program, several people in the ministry began to tell me, Reverend, please take time off to rest. I felt I didn't need any rest. But they kept advising me that I should take a break and rest. And so for the first time, I went on a short vacation with my wife just to go somewhere and rest. We left the church and all the usual activities that always required our attention. All we did were just eating, sleeping, studying the scripture and praying. By the time we returned, we were refreshed spiritually and physically and ready to go again. Yes. And that is me. And I remember one of my daughters in the Lord. She called me and said, Daddy, please take time to rest. Because we don't want to we don't want you to be laid to rest soon. When that lady said that, it shocked me. She said, Daddy, please take time to rest. So that we don't want you to be laid to rest soon. As you hear me this morning, please take time. Set aside time to rest. Set aside time to rest. The work you do, I see some men, they will treat files in the office, treat file. They will still come back, they will still come home with, with, with load of files to come and treat at home, my friend. Let the work stop in the office. When you are coming back home, you are coming for your relaxation. Take time. Some men don't have time. It's not only men, even women. Some people don't have time to rest, even weekends. When it is not officially to go to work, they will still go to office to go and be doing work. Set aside time to rest. Don't create, your, don't create that mess. If you are no more there, 
other people will do it and they will even do it better than you think you can do so don't kill yourself because you are you are a workaholic don't kill yourself don't create mess but i pray you will not break down but if you do if you break down you will discover that the work will proceed i was telling somebody if, if reverend allah fall down and die today that will not mean the end of our of destiny that will not mean the end of habitation of winners they will just say okay he has gone to be with the lord and somebody said like our daddy used to say when he was here so why don't you take time set aside some time to take time to rest to relax it is part of the things that some people have done and they've created so many messes for themselves i pray for you today that as you take it as you take time to 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 eat well as you take time to exercise your body and you take time to set some time off to rest the law will help you tomorrow will pick up another point don't create that mess especially in the area of your earth god bless you have a great day please remember read your bibles today romans chapter 11 and chapter 12 god bless you in jesus name amen